It's been long enough. Now it's time to wrap up the top deadliest Australian creatures. Let's do this thing. You're watching Dynamite TV. The Bull Ant. Bull ants, also known as bulldog ants, have 90 known species and are large and very alert ants that can grow up to 40 millimeters. You can spot them by their long, slender mandibles and large eyes. They also have one hell of a sting. Not only that, but they have incredible vision which allows them to track and follow prey from a distance of one meter. Another identifying trait of a bull ant is the orange and red hairs on their body. All 90 different species of bull ant vary in behavior and life cycle. About nine of them have been recorded in Sydney, and there are still plenty undiscovered. There is even a smaller species known as jumper ants for their aggressive habits of lunging after their prey. They live in all kinds of areas, from woodlands to urban environments, and they feed not only on animal prey but also plant juices and nectar. They drag the animal prey and solid matter back to their nest, which are mostly found underground and can be as deep as several meters. Most often they're likely to attack when an intruder comes close to their nest, no matter what the size. Most species of bull ants have no colony workers, and instead a queen from another colony will raid foreign nests and invade it, killing the resident queen and then taking over control of the colony. Even if they're different species, they can and will deliver painful stings to humans, however, and it is rarely serious unless an allergic reaction becomes apparent. The Great White Shark Revered as the most famous species of shark because they are one of the few that are actually dangerous to humans. Their appearance consists of a white belly and silver gray top, serrated teeth, black eyes, and torpedo-shaped bodies with a pointed snout. They grow up to 6 meters and weigh as much as 3,000 kilograms. That's over 6,000 pounds. Found mostly in coastal temperate waters seen from northwestern Australia to Queensland. Young sharks feed typically on fish such as stingrays, other sharks, and squid. While adults prefer the taste of dead whales, seals, dolphins, sea lions, and also turtles and sea otters, as well as elephant seals and even sea birds. They are said to live for 15 to 25 years. However, in 2014, a female shark was found to be 40 years old, while the oldest living male was 73. The Redback Spider The Redback Spider is a close relative to the well-known Black Widow Spider in the United States, and looks similar in appearance even. Females have a prominent red to orange stripe vertically on their upper abdomen while the male's markings are far less noticeable like most spiders. You can find these buggers all over Australia, anywhere there are warm temperatures for breeding, adequate places to build webs, and sources of food. They are most common in urban areas inhabited with humans. Even though they usually prey on insects, it's not uncommon for them to capture larger meals such as small lizards, king crickets, and even other spiders. After mating, the female can store the sperm from the male and use it periodically for up to two years in order to lay many batches of eggs. Each egg sac can harbor as many as 250 eggs, which just need about two to four weeks to hatch. Fresh out of the egg, these little guys are vicious and cannibalistic, so much so that they will immediately devour each other and unhashed eggs. Believe it or not, daddy longlegs and white-tailed spiders have been known to pursue and catch redback spiders. As for humans, bites are recorded often and usually during the hot summer season. However, it is only the female whose bite is dangerous, causing major illnesses and even death. They stay within their webs and most bites only occur from accidentally sticking your hand or foot directly into the web. Venom affects the nerves, causing a loss of neurotransmitters. If you are bitten, apply a pack of ice directly to the area to make the pain subside. Avoid applying pressure though because using a bandage will make the pain worse. Capture the spider so it can be identified and seek medical attention immediately. The Saltwater Crocodile Male crocodiles grow larger than females and have a heavier build as well. There is a similar species called freshwater crocodiles, however they possess a more slender snout and much lighter build. Found along the northwestern coast and drainage areas as well as a handful of islands just off the north and the Queensland coast, these beasts thrive in many environments like lagoons, rivers, swamps, creeks, and even full-on seawater. In fact, they're spotted far more in the water, twice as much to be exact. Saltwater crocs are nocturnal hunters who eat mostly anything that comes their way. Small crocs prey on crustaceans and insects, while full-grown hunt less frequently but target bigger meals such as sea turtles, water birds, and even things as large as a water buffalo. In fact, they're even known to eat their own species on occasion. Younger crocs tend to play the waiting game in shallow waters until something adequate passes by close enough. Adults, however, actively hunt and seek out their prey, being attracted to movement. 
where in which they stalk undetected under the water. And once it comes close enough, they lunge and repeatedly slam their powerful jaws onto its victim, which most of the time that alone is enough to kill its prey. These crocodiles possess a special homing ability being able to always find their way back to their local territory no matter how far they stray. A study was done displacing specimens as far as 40 miles from where they were found, and some returned back to their local stomping ground as quickly as 10 days. So, because of this, relocating captured crocodiles from areas they are not wanted tends to be ineffective. They communicate with each other by means of sound, visual, and chemical signals. For example, young hatchlings chirp to make themselves known to their mother. Whereas adults growl with a low rumble in their response to prey and opposing males, and visually the posture of their body represents a range of emotions as well. Chemically, it is believed that they excrete a certain musk that may have a role in courting a female or marking territory. The Tyapin Snake Found mostly in Central East Australia, these are considered by people to be the most venomous snake if you compare its venom to the average lethal dose value. It is considered the most toxic of all snakes on land and sea as well. Despite how lethal and able it is to do damage, unlike many species of snake, the Tyapin is often more reclusive and shy and would much rather evade a confrontation than attack. However, if left with no option to escape or if mishandled, they will defend themselves and strike. You will be given a warning though by the way it displays itself before striking, curling its body into a tight S-shaped curve and its head facing the potential predator. If ignored, it will not hesitate to strike and they are very agile and fast with major accuracy. And often they strike multiple times injecting venom with each blow. Tyapins evolved to hunt and kill warm-blooded animals. This is why they deliver a whopping 110 milligrams of venom which is powerful enough to drop 100 human adults or 250 mice. If untreated, the venom can kill within 30 to 45 minutes. This is because their venom is around 50 times more toxic than a king cobra. Thankfully, they reside mostly in remote locations and rarely come in contact with humans. Don't forget to subscribe for more weird and crazy videos that you might learn something from. The Stonefish Masters of Camouflage The Stonefish can blend in to appear as rocks or lumps of coral on the seafloor near tropical areas. These fish are extremely dangerous due to their dorsal fin spines that inject a highly toxic and poisonous venom. There are two major species recorded near Australia, the reef stonefish and the estuary. To tell them apart, one must know the difference in their facial structures. Reef stonefish have eyes that are spaced out with a decent sized indent in the middle, while the latter have a bony elevated ridge. These fish often grow to about 35 centimeters but 50 centimeter behemoths have been reported before. Found widely among tropical water near New South Wales, the Great Barrier Reef and Queensland, living mostly among coral, under ledges or rocks, and rubble, and occasionally buried under the sand by use of their large fins. Their diet consists mostly of other fish and crustaceans, typically camping out and waiting for its prey to swim past. Their attacks are so quick that a high-speed camera is necessary in order to even record properly their times of feeding. This is a species that holds its ground if disturbed, and instead of fleeing, it'll unleash its poisonous fin spines outward to do the work. This is not to say that stonefish have no opponents, though, as rays and sharks find them to be a tasty meal despite their poisonous fins. Beware the stonefish because they absolutely are the most poisonous fish in the world, whose venom creates pain most intensely. Thankfully, due to the creation of anti-venom, there has been no recorded death since 1959. Which one of these deadly Australian creatures scares you the most? Tell me in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching.